we're also going to be there for them. We don't just stay open one week. We want to make sure they know that we're loved and told for them and that we're there. No, I mean, and like today's uh, sort of kids and family, they have thousands of family members. We all have worked with thousands of families. We're the brothers. Okay, sports fans, <laughs> guess who's back? <laughs> Ooh, it's been an exciting uh, week or so. It's uh, coming up on, uh, I think it's the 22nd of December. Look at that. Only a couple of days to go until we have uh, Christmas upon us. We got all kinds of cooking and stuff to do. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm in charge of Team Rice. <laughs> Everybody else has to deal with everything else, thank God. I don't have Team Meat this year, which I had this huge nine and a half pound prime rib, which is, you know, and you got a 200 and, well, it was last year. This, you know, $400 piece of meat, 400 bucks, which is <laughs> huge. You don't want to louse it up. <laughs> you only get one shot at the 400 bucks, you know what I'm saying? And then you got, you know, 12 people that are, whatever the count, you know, they're hoping for a nice meal. And uh, Jimmy loused up the prime rib. No, I, we did a good job. It came out perfectly fine. I cooked it to about 125 degrees, you know, in the oven for in a convection oven. Uh, for, let me turn her down. She's much too noisy. There we go. Oh, I can, I can modify it right there. I can turn it. I got this, I got this big Harry Fat microphone right next to that baby. Look at the snow. Oh my God. There we go. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll make that like background noise. <laughs> we don't want to hear, you know, Fox News take over Jimmy, you know. Anyway, so I'm surrounded with I'm surrounded with all my toys. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna, we're going to be handheld here. This thing that might stand every every little nit and cricket that you get on that uh, this little stand goes right through into the low frequency of the microphone. But if I hand hold it, I can get real close. And you can actually hear me not talking. <laughs> it is very, it is, it is really, uh, the KMD microphones are unbelievable engineering by Shure, S-C-H-U-R-E. They've been making microphones for a hundred years. I had one of the first ones. <laughs> Showing off my age. Uh, this puppy right here. See this guy right here? This is one of the. I have one of these. Nine, nine, this is like a, a 1959 version microphone. I have the instruction book. It's all yellow. <laughs> Paper so old. Uh, it's in a box somewhere. I came across it when we were on a moving for the third time. Actually, we we uh, sold our house in Ofloresta and came to Royal Palm Place uh, 11 years ago and uh, moved into 
apartment 801. And then I had my eye on uh, apartment 812 because it looks straight east instead of this look over the swimming pool, uh, which was nice. You know, it was kind of looked, your balcony was, uh, you know, kind of uh, south and west, uh, mostly mostly south. Uh, but, uh, you know, we want we to go for an east view, plus it had, uh, you know, a 20, 22 foot balcony. So we had plenty of room for everybody. Got, got six new chairs, had to put them together. That was the total pain in the butt. But we did it. Uh, this year, just announcing, you see this right here? Turning it around for your young enjoyment. Alexa. Alexa, what's the weather? You can, you can hear you in the kitchen. <laughs> I have. I have actually uh, uh, the new, let's see if I can show you, uh, the new Alexa, uh, where is it, I have to find, uh, there it is, okay, so we go to my orders, yeah, yeah, and there's some dots, that's not interesting, <laughs> that is not interesting at all, here we go. I got this, uh, let's see, do I have a uh, control? Oh, got that. There it is. Okay, good. Let's find it on here. Um, so, yeah, so I want to go to the, All right, so we want to go to my orders, so we go in here, touch that guy, then we touch my orders. So you can see this doodad that I just got, which I did a little bit of research and development for this one. Not too much development, but a lot of research. You see, the new Echo Dot, see it's round, uh, with clock. A smart speaker with clock. I actually got two of them. Um, I think I got two of them. <laughs> I know I got two of the light bulbs. But this this little puppy, you can talk to it. You can set, you know, your alarm clock. So you can just say, hey, Alexa, set my alarm clock for 6.30 tomorrow morning. And that'll, that's what'll happen. It's like magic. And it will confirm back to you in voice, Alta, saying, hello, well, <laughs> see, here's the unbelievable speaker sound. There's a, a shot of the insides of the new Echo Dot, which instead of being a little flat pancake thing, it's now a globe looking thing. There it is, sitting on the, it's not, it's not big, it's, you know, like, like this big around, like a big, like a grapefruit. There it is, sitting on a, what do you call it? That's a, that's a bluish one. I got the whitish one. You can uh, press on top and turn off the microphone. That's what that illustration is. Wow, look at that. And uh, let's see what else we got in this video. Yeah, there you go. You can pause the music. You can you can do various things. Uh, so uh, now Alexa is is not that um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, Apple friendly. It's just recently become a little more Apple friendly. So I kind of stayed away from Alexa for all these years. And now it's on the fifth generation. I'm still, I'm just getting one. <laughs> this gives you an idea how 
you know, I just uh, stayed in the background. I figured, oh, let them improve everything and, you know, with the different versions. And I'll wait until, you know, or, until now. So that's what I did. And it uh, cost $39. It's a 33% discount because, uh, as I will show you, uh, I'll get rid of this. See right there? It was 60, and they knocked it down 33% to 40. And 25% uh, <laughs> with trade-in, whatever that means. Uh, let's see what that means. We can push the little magic button. Let's see what that means. <clears throat> so while this is... Uh, <clears throat> deciding what a trade-in is, which I have no clue. <clears throat> I already bought it without a trade-in, so it's strictly academic. Uh, but over, the, you know, uh, uh, I was I was in the hospital for four days. I walked myself in uh, as I did uh, last March. Well, I did it again. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I had this and that and checked my blood, the blood. You know, they gave me every test known to mankind. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, after they do all this stuff, this Polish gentleman nurse, gentleman nurse, big, big husky Polish looking guy, he comes up to me and he says, Mr. Jim. You want to follow me around the hallway so we can check your oxygen saturation? And, and you know, uh, while we walk, we're going to do your oxygen uh, saturation test. I said, oh, really? I, you know, all these tests, and now you're going to check my oxygen saturation. That's quite interesting. Sure, let's do it. So uh, there we go. So we walked around the hallway. And I said, well, you know, when I take the trash down to the trash chute, you know, I need 30, 30 pounds of trash roni, which you're going to, you know, we live on the eighth floor, so it goes down, you know, uh, 100 feet and ends up, you know, in this, uh, you know, in this, this big trash chute thing where it goes out to the garbage guy every, every morning. And this big thing, you know, picks up by the machine and dumps all everyone's garbage. Well, they got a trash chute at the end of each hallway. Well, this apartment 812 is right smack in the middle of the building. So I got to walk maximum distance uh, to the trash chute room, which is 66 steps. I measured it. And it's 40 steps, 45 steps to the elevator. If I turn left out my front door, and if I go right out of my front door of a apartment 812, it heads me down the hallway towards the trash chute room, which is an enclosed room to keep the odors, you know, under control. So I notice that when I walk uh, to the trash chute room and back, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I'm running out of air and I'm walking down a hallway that's air conditioned. <laughs> Give me a break. I mean, there's got to be something a little screwy about that. So this guy had a thing on my finger and a device in his hand measuring, you know, not statically, dynamically, my blood oxygen level. Which, you know, uh, with a normal human being, it should run somewhere between 95 and 99%. And, of course, my blood oxygen, and I said, so we're walking around. I said, you know, I said, I'll tell you when my blood oxygen is starting to drop. He said, really, you're going to tell me? And I said, well, uh, <laughs> let's, let's see how we go. He said, well, we've gone, uh, you know, halfway around the hallway in the hospital. I said, let's keep going. I go down another, you know, let's say 40 steps. And I'm going to tell you, my blood oxygen is going to crash. <laughs> sure as hell, it went from, 
you know, like 93 down to like 80. He says, he says, yes, you have a saturation issue. <laughs> I said, I know I have a saturation issue, and I'm so glad you uh, showed up. So he writes a report, and now I got bottles of oxygen and concentrators, and they have oxygenated me up here. So I have, I have some assist. So if I walk down the hallway, and I don't feel so good after the walk down the hallway with trash in my arms. Uh, I can sit down on the couch and uh, roll up a cylinder of oxygen, which they fill up to about 2,000 PSI, and I can, you know, put on this uh, doodad that fits under your nose, just like you see in the hospital bed pictures. Let's see if I have one of those. I'm sure I do. But let's just give you... Oops. What the hell's that? I want this one. There we go. So... There you go. Here's Jimmy. Oh, I don't have my oxygen on. How about this picture? Nope. I don't have oxygen on when I'm in the bed. Uh, I have an IV. You can see my IV there. And the time is, it uh, looks like 12.30. They're feeding me lunch. I have my lunch plate there. I have my little container of rice pudding, which is so good. Anyway, Marilyn took a picture of me. So, now, uh, I did a little uh, oxygen. I have a, I have an oxygen hose. I have it right here, actually. There it is. Yep. See, there it is. With the, there's the little uh, nose duders. Uh, I don't have it on right now, and I don't have the concentrator on. The concentrator is a device that uh, produces O2. Um, I don't know how it separates the O2 out of the air, but it does. So it either has a, uh, a system of eliminating the nitrogen so that you end up with oxygen, or there's some other process. Uh, but anyway, the concentrator can deliver uh, four liters per minute, which is a good good amount of, uh, a decent amount of oxygen flow, uh, which, you know, you plug it in and turn it on and it'll, it'll run all day. So when I'm sitting here at my, uh, uh, my little studio suite here, um, I can be sucking on oxygen. Not now because I'm talking to you guys. Uh, oh, here's a little commercial. See this right here? Look how cool that is. That is a little placard, which um, I should I should get it. I should have them put it in the elevator. You know, they have an elevator showboard thing behind glass, uh, and one in the mail room. And I I made up this card. Uh, And see, house call, $77. <laughs> see, there's Jimmy. And it's basically, it says on here, common technology issues. You know, Jimmy has many years of experience in helping thousands of seniors and adult FAU students with iPhones, iPads, Androids, Mac, and PC problems. Training plus solving many technology issues. And that's what I do. I tell Mace to bring in your thingies and uh, I'll walk around a room and uh, solve your problems, hopefully. And uh, so, you know, here, common technology issues. Uh, let's, my iPhone, iPad, Android will not charge. My applications do not update correctly. Uh, should I update my iOS operating system? The answer to that one is yes. Always update your operating system. Apple is very picky about operating systems, and they will not publish it unless it is bug debugged. Okay, my iPhone uh, or Android is totally frozen. Okay, I know how to defrost them. <laughs> Uh, I received a gift iPad 
please help me set it up. Having problems with your Android phone? Need a need to create a presentation using an iPad? Hey, I know how to do that. Warning messages that I don't understand. Could you explain to me? My Wi-Fi network is not op is operating too slowly, uh, or not operating at all. My operating system is out of date. So what? So I tell them what the what is. <laughs> iCloud backups. What is it? Do I need it? The answer is yes. Uh, are all my portable devices safe uh, and secure? Need help with email, Gmail, and viruses? I know how to do that. What's with the iCloud? Do I need it and why? Need training to improve your Photo editing, that's my specialty. It's second to the bottom of the list, but it is something, there's the list. Will you, I'm holding it, I got my arms crossed here. <laughs> there you go, you can see that. Uh, the last one on the list, iPhone or Android? Uh, help me choose which one. That's it, so there's my phone number. Five six one or one six eleven hundred. That number has been running for a very long time. Probably could it be twenty years, fifteen years? Uh, it was a landline, and I transferred it to my phone, so it's probably twenty years. Uh, tell Jim about your technology issues. Text or call me with your issues at 561-416-1100. I make house calls at your office or apartment right here in the building. We've got 200 residences. But anyway, I, uh, I, put, I put these, uh, I've got several hundred of those things up there in that closet, which is out of your view. <clears throat> and I've had, a, you know, a number of people in the building that have, uh, so, you know, responded to my advertisements and have fixed their issues. You know, 77 bucks is not bad for a house call. You know, you call the these other bug people and, uh, you know, like Geek Squad, that kind of thing, which, which they're good. You know, they're good. You know, they're techie, techie card. You know, the... The advantage of a of a Jimmy is, you know, you don't have you don't have to worry because, you know, you got a neighbor that's uh, helping you out. Uh, I live down the hall, or I live on the eighth floor, and you live on the ninth floor. Whatever, we're just a short elevator right away, and that kind of thing. So it makes people feel better if they can uh, get help without having to deal with total strangers. At least this way you got Jimmy and uh, the last thing Jimmy's going to do is uh, get in the way of your privacy. Anyway, so Alexa is a new challenge for Jimmy because I don't know anything about Alexa. So I'm learning how to um, uh, I have a couple of uh, these things. I got two of these things. Let me just check to see if I'm actually getting two or if I chickened out and just got one. Let's see. Let's go to my orders. So I got that. So at 10 p.m. today, I get that one. And I got the light colored light bulb. And uh, let's see, anything else? I'm looking down the list. Friday, next week. So I guess that's it. I guess I don't have another one being ordered. Uh, so let's go. I got toilet paper. See it? <laughs> Ooh, that's paper towels. Okay, let's go here. All right, this is, uh, yeah, that's coming. Ordered December 20, and it's coming today. And uh, let's 
track it. You can see this on screen is uh, it's uh, almost out for delivery. See updates. Let's see. Ooh, carrier got it. Blah, 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 blah. It's in Boca Raton somewhere. Package being processed at carrier facility in Boca Raton. Okay. That probably means the USPS has it. So let's do this. Let's uh, put it in the cart. Fifth generation. Dad. Uh, no thanks on the stand. Uh, proceed to check out. Forty-two bucks. Can I get it? Oh, overnight delivery. Yeah, thanks for having me. This flag is a symbol of our victory. Let's cancel this. Let me just verify that it's a white one. Yes, it is white. Uh, all right, so I'll proceed now. All right, so I'm getting ready to order my second one, which uh, uh, 0162, that's the right payment method, overnight. That's the fastest one. Please order. So let's go to my orders again. You can see exactly what's going on with my um, my account with Amazon. <clears throat> I have, uh, there we go. That's a one pack light bulb. So, uh, see, I thought I ordered two of those. Color changing. Soft white. Tunable white, whatever that means. <laughs> I want color changing. <laughs> Come on, let's get with the program. Okay. And uh, I want two. I want two more bulbs. And the card. See all these bulbs have. Um, <clears throat> 2.4 gigahertz uh, connectivity. So it's like a Bluetooth connectivity. So you can, um, you know, let me go there. There we go. I got two of those. See, I got one there. One there. One in the bedroom. Do I have another light? Oh, yeah. I want three of them, actually. Let me put one in the guest room. Okay, proceed to check out. My charge card is, <laughs> is shaking in its boots. <laughs> uh, December 24th, oh my God, it's going to be so busy. There you go, place the order. So I got to figure out how to do this Alexa stuff. <laughs> you know, to get these bulbs working. Oh, la lordy, lordy. Yeah, so we got bulbs. So that way I can say, hey, Alexa. Turn the lights to a comfortable blue at 30%. And all the lights will turn blue and go down to 30%, or, the, or at least the two lamps that we have in the living room area. And it does it all. You don't have to get up. You, know, you just do that. Uh, I don't know how I can get Alexa to turn on my big screen TV. I'm sure there's a way to do that. So there's a little uh, trip down. How to deal with uh, uh, what do you call it? Amazon, Instacart. I've got 27 items showing up tomorrow morning at about 8:30. Boy, I was shopping all afternoon. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, here's. Look at this, new sprouts coming up. This is a very uh, exotic uh, tropical plant. 
and uh, when you get a new stalk, it, it comes up out of the ground like this. And then it grows and grows and grows and then unravels and then it becomes like a big beanstalk. <laughs> it's really a very attractive, you know, very greenery. I've got like four of those in the living room, all banded together. So, uh, let's see, do I have a picture of, of my uh, forest? <laughs> it's right by the window. Uh, everybody's gotten used to the heat next to the window. Um, yeah. Look at this. Right outside the window, there's a moon coming up. I mean, it is just... Oh, let's pull it down. Let's do that again. Let me touch I. This was Saturday, December 10th at 7.46 p.m. The moon rise and on December 10th. See, and it shows exactly the geo uh, location of where the picture was taken. And uh, lo and behold, it's right on my balcony. <laughs> Or at least somebody's balcony on the eighth floor. Looks like mine. But, I mean, that's like unbelievable, isn't it? Just, just sitting right outside the window. Here it is. You know, it's glory. There's, there's, can you imagine you take a picture? Of, this is taken with an iPhone. Picture of the moon with my iPhone. I mean, it's, you know, blurry and all that kind of stuff because we expect this. <laughs> It's, uh, what, uh, 240 million miles, uh, no, it's 240,000 miles away. Here's another moonrise, which is uh, not so exciting. Uh, yeah, I bought uh, Microsoft Office for my Mac. $31, $30, $31, $32. Dollars for lifetime um, warranty or, you know, uh, license usage. Look at that nice picture of a wine bottle next to it. That's nice. Here's a uh, an ancient Greek plate showing uh, God's, you know, I don't know what it's showing. Uh, this it's probably a you know a Jesus kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know what else it could be. Uh, here's uh, here's the brain. This is you know like uh, something I could use in the graphic if I was writing about artificial intelligence. And you get all these little doodads connected to your brain. I got a letter from the Social Security Department. Uh, a few days ago, telling me, "Hey, Jimmy, you got a you got a raise." <laughs> so I get uh, you know about uh, four hundred hours more a month, uh, which you know that ain't hey, four hundred bucks. Four times twelve is forty-eight. So that's almost five thousand dollars a year in increased earnings. I got a raise. <laughs> Uh, the president is listening to me, and he doesn't usually. There he is, a nice picture of him signing something on December 10th. Oh, there's the picture of our uh, Zelensky. Time address to Congress, thanking Americans for supporting his country in its fight against Russia's invasion. And now Moscow is reacting with its own tough talk. Uh, now, Nate Foy is live in the Ukrainian capital. There you go. So he's over here talking to, guess what he's doing? <laughs> he's trying to raise money. He's trying to get the Americans, which is our Congress, uh, to give him more um, military aid. So that's what's going on there. I have 
Okay, I have to keep that secret. Here's, uh, here's my, whoops. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it here. Uh, there we go, this is current time. Here are images of uh, the items that I picked off of Marilyn's shopping list, showing her what I picked. And uh, she don't like it. And she'll have to go get something else. Um, you know, but at least here's the list. Shopping Christmas shopping list. So there's all the items. I checked them off as I went through, uh, you know, the the shopping, what do you call it, uh, Instacart. I am a very good friend of Instacart. Boy. But, you know, it keeps me from having to, um, you know, go into the stores and get all the germs, you know. So, oops, so there's my card. I'll leave it there. Lulu said, the secret to happiness is to live in the present. So <laughs> Lulu is in the present. <laughs> and then this little worm over here down in the corner says, and never think outside the box. <laughs> so when you get it outside the box, don't don't think. That's it. Just don't. There we go. 94% blood oxygen. That's it. That's, uh, that's what was happening. Let's... Uh, Let's get uh, that, uh, I should have some packages being delivered any minute. Let's see how it goes. Yep, there's still uh, there's still on uh, three things. Uh, uh, I don't know what the three things were. <laughs> Anyway, so what am I going to sign for? Uh, it says, you know, before 10.30, but uh, it's uh, 10.35. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone banging on, as it says out for delivery, but it's not here. The UPS has a doodad where you can tap on it. And it'll show you where the truck is and where you are <laughs> and how close it is to the point where it's going to be delivered. Here's a picture. This is Jimmy with his cat. This is, whoops, this is when I got home. I'm really focused in on that TV. And so is the cat. <laughs> He's sitting next to me. He was trying to crawl inside my shirt. He was, he was so sad that I wasn't around, you know, and I didn't have time to give him a long explanation. I just, I said, Marilyn, uh, it was like, uh, I think Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Thursday. I said, all right, Marilyn had took the day off. And I said, well, Let's go. So it was about five o'clock. So we took off out of here. And uh, I said, just drive right into the emergency area. And they have valet. And let's just valet ourselves into the lobby of the Boca Raton Regional Hospital, which is exactly what I did. Uh, and then they had me in the emergency thingy, testing this and testing that. And then they finally said, all right, we're going to put him in a hospital. So there's uh, Brennan with his sous chef jacket. How cool is that? Sounds be a picture. That's cool. This is uh, Bill Morris's cat. Uh, I forget her name. But it's Bill Morris's cat, which is a friend of Bill. Uh, yeah. I can go to that. Uh, uh, let's see. There it is. No, I don't want him. I don't want to send him a picture of his own cat. 
We don't want to do that. Let's go to the messages. We go there. We don't want to go to messages. There we go. Let's see. Uh, there's Bill Morris. Let's find out what the name of this cat is. Actually, man, I can't remember. Rosie. There we go. This is my helper and buddy, Rosie. Nice, nice little weasel. There's my cat. Sitting by the door, wondering, where the hell's Jimmy? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a couple of days, so he just sits by the door. <laughs> Marilyn was so upset that he kept sitting by the door. She said it made her cry. Please. I need to. Uh, let's see how I can do this. Yeah, let's uh, copy this. And go down to Maryland. And just do this. Paste. You'll have one prescription, right? I, I'll change that to I. I. Comma. Shift. Let's just send that. Maybe that'll be uh, a little reminder. <laughs> she was supposed to pick up my stuff last night. She forgot. So we don't want her to forget again. I'll send it on uh, Facebook, too, if I can. Let's paste it. Uh, send it. There we go. <laughs> now the whole world knows I have a prescription, right? That's okay. All right, here's the construction that's going on outside our window. That's pretty serious stuff going directly east of us. And uh, looking, uh, let's see, that would be a little southeast. There's another building, the Alina second phase. And you can see. I keep on uh, uh, going the wrong way. There we go. Where are those pictures? There we go. See, so now you can see them on, on, my, on the screen next to Jimmy pointing. So there's that's the building directly east of us right there. Now this is looking southeast. Now, this is another construction site. Uh, Alina, second, second and third phases. I think they're both being built simultaneously. And you can see the, see this stack right here? This is the elevator shaft. If you ever wonder what that pile of stuff is. And there's a ladder going up and there's a guy that goes up there. And this is a box. That's like a double-sided box. And it's uh, 12 inches apart. It's like almost like a prefab thing. And um, they pump concrete right down the top of it. And uh, that produces the elevator shaft for the next level. See, and here are some of the braces for the prefab, you know, to produce this. See, there is a column you see right in the middle. There's another column in the middle. And guess what this is going to be? That's going to be a column. And they fill it with cement. Uh, there might be cement already in there. You see this? It looks like a white top on this one. So, you know, this is like the one, two, three. This is like the fourth floor. We're floor eight. So we're still kind of looking down on it. But, you know, they're going to keep building. It's going to go nine stories up. Uh, it's going to be a 165-foot building. So that's going to block. This is, uh, let's see. See, right over here in the very top corner of this picture, right there, that is a piece of the Boca Tower, Boca, Boca Hotel 
Tower building. Here's a close up of the uh, construction workers. This is, you know, the most telephoto I can do was an iPhone. <laughs> These are all iPhone pictures. See, there's a, oh, a big arching concrete pump. So down in, down in the uh, lower right corner would be a, a concrete truck. And then it pumps it up. So we can reach over there. It can reach as a big reach. You know, they can, there's only so many places they can put a concrete truck. So the, this device was made to uh, pump cement all over the place. Yep, there's my cat. Kino. He's a sweetie. Yes, he's a smart animal. I can tell you that. A lot of these cats, you know, they don't, uh, they don't give you feedback, so you don't realize how smart they are. They're they're really smart. Anyway, there's my plant that's growing like beautifully. A little bit of a hand, you know, close up. Same picture. You see, it just comes right up. See this little thing? That's coming right out of the ground. It's like this. <laughs> it looks very eerie, you know. That seems. These tropical plants. There's Kino. That's a pretty good picture. I, you take enough pictures, you finally get a good one. This is a good one. He's got some very serious whiskers. Going left and right. See, there you go. There you can see his whiskers. He's <laughs> a big. He's looking right smack at me. Look at that pink nose. That, there he is. There's a, like our living room. There. This way over in this corner, this room right here, is where I'm sitting. And those two pictures are right above me, over that way. Holy macro, look at the clouds moving up over there. Holy. That's in Moscow. There you go, see, there's the dirt. And this thing growing right smack out of the dirt. So here's this, see, it had like this bud. This one over here. See, this one hasn't exploded yet. And then it just, bam, all of a sudden this thing comes out of it. And it grows up, you know. Every day it, it goes another inch or so. So it's pretty rapid growth. Uh, these were half the size, uh, you know, three or four days ago. Uh, this is a doodad, this freestyle Libra sensor. It's the thing you put on the back of your arm, and it keeps track of your, uh, your blood oxygen without having to prick your finger. Now, I have blood oxygen on my watch. Uh, which I have a number of screenshots of that uh, right here. See, this verifies my results. At 6.44 p.m. last night, it was 97% uh, blood oxygen, 98%, 97%, 135 in the afternoon, 140, 98. So, but I'm actually breathing oxygen, uh, so that's why it's high. So then, you know, it's 7 o'clock, so here's the 10.55 p.m. I'm sitting on a couch, I'm, you know, eight hours off the oxygen, and my blood oxygen is at 96, at 94, see? Uh, so... The oxygen treatments, I guess it does, it builds up your blood. So it's uh, good. And it has uh, long range effects of uh, making your blood more capable of carrying oxygen. And that's what we want. All right, this says, I'm looking at uh, the tracking for these 
three hitlers. See, I got a sign for this one. Alfred delivery. All right, so we're just about done with this, I think. And uh, it's 10, 10, 10 10.50 in the morning. Unknown caller. I can take that call, and it comes right through the system here. I think I, I don't want to talk to them. Wait, the, the Maverick movie, you want to see a movie, yes. I understand you can stream it now and watch it in your living room if you, if you have a nice, you know, uh, if you have a large TV in your living room. They're only, you know, 15, 1800 bucks now, so it costs you $200 to, you know, um, You know, have uh, the Geek Squad install it for you, so they hang it right on the wall. So that's good. See, my wife says it's time for you to stand up. <laughs> okay, boss. I get all these reminders, these things telling me what to do. It's quite a world we live in. I have a voice now. It's my silver hours. I just bought a gold coin. For two thousand, two thousand bucks. Buffalo, Buffalo. Do I have a picture of that? Anyway, Dave Ramsey, thank you very much. Merry Christmas, thank you for having me. America, did you really face like a one-two winner punch this holiday? Every once in a while, you buy a gold coin. If you have a couple of extra accounts, here's my account. Order history. There you go. See, my most recent order is on Wednesday, the twenty-first. Unknown caller. Oh, they're calling again. No, oh, thank you. All right, they're trying to lend me money. I don't want to borrow money. Uh, to, uh, cause including, yeah, you know, because I have a, uh, I bought. There you go. See, gold. Bright, uncirculated. That's what BU means. Let's let's click on the gold coin. I hope you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn down the intensity a little bit. Uh, all right. There it is. That's it. It's a thing of beauty. Let's see if we can get that. See that? Look at that. That is one good looking coin. And on the other side, it's the buffalo. It's just like the nickel. Same, same guy. Except they made it in a gold coin. See, on the very bottom of that coin, 0. 0.9999, fine gold. That means it is almost 100% pure, except for one ten thousandth of the possibility that it's, you know, got a little tiny bit of something in there. But see, that's how to, that is how to save gold. Buy coins, buy a coin. Or if you got the, these big things, number one, they cost you thirty or forty thousand dollars for, you know, a multi-pound thing like you see in the, uh, you know, in the movies. So buy, buy silver coins. You know, like these. These are hundred percent. Let's see if I can get that to focus on it. I got four. I got four up here. I keep four of them out. You know, just every once in a while so I can handle them. You can hear them. Click. But anyway, so that's, you know, so $1,965. You're going to have a a gold coin all over your arm. Uh, you can buy all kinds of quantities. 
And you look down here at product specifications. One troy ounce, it's pure, baby. Yep. This is what? There it is right there. So we can see it on this, you know, screen. There's the item. There it is. See, now you can see it on the next, you know, the, I can't enlarge it. It's as big as it goes. $1,966. Sale, <laughs> yeah, you know, what the heck? Specifications: point nine 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 purity. What are you getting? One troy ounce uh, of uh, pure gold. A lot of the other gold coins. I think almost all of the other gold coins are like point nine two percent gold. 927, something like that, point 927, instead of point 99999, four nines. And that's because, uh, you know, they have copper and tin and other things to make the gold harder, so they don't wear out as much. But, you know, you're paying $2,000, you're not getting 100% gold. So I say, away with that, let's buy a gold bullion, gold bullion, coin so it's like bullion you know like the big bars in the federal reserve except that's a bullion coin and you know two thousand dollars a pop you can get you know a, a roll of 20 of those oh so that's 40 you know it's forty thousand dollars for a little cylinder of gold coins you know that stands up about this tall and uh you know, the diameter of the gold coin. And, you know, there would be uh, 20 ounces, 20 coins fit in one of those uh, uh, polyethylene cylinders. I don't, you know, I have the vault. So you vault them, you have a vault in the bank, that's fine. Put them in the vault in the bank. And, uh, you know, save gold because we're in such an inflationary period. This is when gold values do well. And I can come back here. I can come back here. And uh, come back here. See right at the top, gold right now is 18. Let's just look at it for a month. You see how it, uh, yup, yup, but it's going up. You know, so a month ago it was 17.45 an ounce, and now it's up to 18.25 an ounce. It's gone up almost $100 an ounce in a month. And it's going up because the dollar is shrinking with all this inflation. You know, at 11%, 12%. So gold, if you buy a kilogram, you know, a kilogram bar, it's $58,000. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have a, a kilogram is 2.2 2 pounds. So 16 ounces, 16 coins, and, you know, so it's 16, 16, 32. So it's, you know, a kilogram is, um, you know, like a, it's a thousand grams. So each gold coin is uh, it's about 30 grams in an ounce, if I remember correctly. Anyway, so this is pure silver. Yeah, it's silver dollar. The, the date on it is uh, 2021. In this case, and that's a common uh, face. So here's like it's it's on a bazillion quarters. Uh, the back is unique. 
because that's got the eagle. There you can see the eagle. There it is. Yeah, my autofocus is having that's I'll put it near the microphone. See there it is. Quite attractive. Anyway, so that just reminds me silver so gold. So that's the spot price of silver. See silver is twenty three dollars. Uh, let's look at it for the month. You see, a similar back in the line. It was twenty one dollars an ounce and now it's twenty four dollars an ounce. So even though this says one dollar, it's worth twenty four plus the value of the coin which is you know, another ten bucks or so. Um if someone were to buy this coin from you, which these guys, you know, buy or sell, whatever that spot gold price is, you get it plus about $5 a coin because it's a coin. It's not a bullion bar of silver. So they, they give you, you know, like a five or six bucks. <clears throat> okay, sports fans, it's, I've been on the, Hacking here for one hour, one minute, and 23 seconds. So let's, uh, you know, call it a day. You know, so let's... <laughs> mm. All right, so let's, let's see, Anna Jimmy, you have a, you all have a great day. Have a great Christmas. And I'll be talking after Christmas, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>